I'm off the rocky coast of Maine, heading toward the island of Matinicus, alone. My Egyptology professor, Dr. Hargrove, was always recounting his trips to northern Africa in the 1930s and his search for a mystical water clock from the dynasty of the pharaoh Ramses. The clock supposedly had powers to grant everlasting life, claimed he found it once. But whatever Hargrove found mysteriously disappeared after a visit by the expedition's patron, Tess Conway. I've picked up the trail where Hargrove left off. It has led me to Eris Tess Conway's island estate. Tess was obsessed with the occult. Her greed drew her toward Duncan de Vries, the debonair two-bit smuggler. In its heyday, the Conway estate hosted wild, extravagant parties. It has been deserted for decades. Tess and her society friends disappeared in 1932 on the night of the summer solstice. I'm just getting my first glimpse of the house. The weather's getting worse, but I'm almost ashore. I fear my life may be in danger, but I have come prepared. Hmm, that's strange. My watch has stopped. Killing time for the 3DO. And a nice change of pace. Decent voice acting. So this game came out in 1996 for the 3DO and is probably best known for its full motion video overlapping with the game. So we'll see how it is. Let's go. Ooh, your name. Let's go formal. Mr. Murdoch. By the way, the music. It's awesome. Okay, let's go. Here we are. Go to the orb. Stay away from Tess. Oh. She's trouble. Real trouble. Duncan will tell you. Except, Duncan ain't what he used to be. Okay. Okay. So we can move forward and look around. What else can we do? Oh, we can strafe. That might come in handy. Okay. Oh. Okay. Help we know you. Please gather my spiritual essence from the different symbols which lie around this island. Okay. I'm going to need you down at the dock tonight. Oh. We're expecting another shipment of arms. Well, boss, where am I going to put all this stuff? I mean, the storage room is almost full. I can't even walk in there. I guess you'll just have to stash it around the grounds. Well, I don't like it. I mean, booze was one thing, but guns, I, I don't know. Quit worrying, Mike. Our new associates from Chicago will be here this evening to take the guns off the island. They will pay us handsomely for the arms. They have new contacts. We can expand. This is only the beginning. I said Duncan. Okay, weird. Just a quick note. Music, great. Acting, great. I'm pleasantly surprised. Controls are a bit floaty, so it's weird to get used to. Let's see, purple works. Let's grab the purple orbs. It's weird to control this with a directional button instead of a joystick, <laughs> to be uh, honest. Oh, something happening? Something is happening. The mood changed. Her voices. I don't like what I'm hearing. Oh, I hear ducks. That's... Okay. <laughs> oh. There is a guy there. I hear you. Two. They're very generous with the hitboxes. I'm glad. Dog! 
I was just fighting ducks. Yeah, I have no ammo left. So how do you change weapons then? You can aim up and down. Oh, and that's a quick turnaround. Jesus, okay, a lot of button combinations here. It's inverted as well, that's fucked up. Turning display on and off. Why? <laughs> How do I change weapons is what I want to know. <laughs> well, this is uh, interesting. I just bash him in the head with my shotgun. Oh, that's weird. Okay, okay. So you basically have, uh, let's just call it, the cross on uh, the PlayStation controller. That sort of function button. So you hold that and then you can change other things. Like aiming up and down, quick turnaround. And you have to hold that and the shoot button to change <laughs> weapons. It's weird. It's weird. But it works. There's another one. Come on. Aha! I don't know what the red orb is. Okay, that's... I think a thing that I need to grab. So are they scattered around this maze? Have I been here? Oh no, no what happened? Die! <laughs> okay. Oh, so many ducks. I do feel terrible. Do they do something? Do they have tech? So, where have we been yet? Can we... Oh, we can actually move the map. Uh, so where do we go? Oh, we haven't been there yet. Oh, so many ducks. If you don't like ducks, this game isn't for you. I don't know if I like this. Where are the ducks? Wow, the mood changed quick. Shut up! Oh, there you are. I'm sorry, but you might give health, so I, I need to shoot you. It's a rule. Hunter... I knew it! There's another one. Oh, there. Wait. Ah oh, man, I went in a circle. Go here. Grab the shotgun. <laughs> Shot. We're going to grab the shotgun. Five bullets. We're not going to grab the shotgun. What? It's a dead end. Where haven't I been then? Ah, oh, all the way over there. Okay. Many hours later. Yeah, this seems about it. Let's go in. I don't know if I, I want to go in. 
Oh, hi. Welcome to the Conway Estate. Thank you. Very kind. How can you live in a house like this? <laughs> Help me. Okay. She was such a sweet child. I raised her. I kept her from harm. And now this rathscallion enters the picture and I'm swept aside after 20 years of service. This would have never happened if Dr. and Mrs. Conway were still alive. They should have never gone on that safari. I can't live in the past. Well, you're a ghost, so... You kind of do, but I feel you. Help me. Everybody's saying help me. Again, the music is amazing in this game. I'm sorry. Oh. Just uh, picked up. Giving compliments. We get this. That doesn't sound good. Ow! Damn it. Do we shoot you? Yeah. Well, that was the first and a half level of killing time. I kind of understand the title of the game, Killing Time, because 75% of the time you're just walking through a maze, <laughs> killing time. So yeah, it's an interesting game. I really like the full motion video uh, in the game. It's really nicely done. And the music, again, really sets the mood. Actually, at the time of recording, they just released a remaster of this game called Killing Time Resurrected. I might check that one out in the future. See you next time. Bye-bye.